This is uh, Simon Goins, and I'm here with the Paul Perkins to get his feel on what goes on. I mean, what goes on when he's in Ackerman. Paul, how do you feel about having interaction in this public setting? Um, I think Ackerman Student Union is a great place for interactions. It really uh, is a, short, a smaller scale of what UCLA uh, prides itself on and that being a diverse diverse campus and uh, with many different uh, networks and uh, friendships that can be made here. So I think Ackerman Student Union is a great place to socialize with people that you don't know and uh, to meet new friends and to gain new, uh, new ties and networks. Do you like having interaction with people in Ackerman Student Union? Uh, I definitely don't have, I don't mind having conversations with uh, anonymous people. Um, that's why I'm here at college, to make, make new friends because it's important to uh, get out and expand your network because the people that you sit with today may be giving you a job tomorrow. So it's, it's in my best interest to make the most of my time here at UCLA and that is to um, get out and network and socialize and uh, have conversations with people that I wouldn't usually talk to on a normal basis. What do you eat? Usually when you're in the Ackerman Student Union. Uh, Ackerman Union is a, uh, an area that has a vast amount of restaurants uh, ranging from Sbarro's to Rubio's to Panda Express to Wetzel Pretzel. But my choice restaurant has to be uh, Panda Express because the, of the various amounts of entrees they have and the prices that are reasonable for me in my uh, my bank account. So you like the food that Panda Express brings to the table. Do you like the freshness of the food, the people that cook the food, how it's prepared, the different combinations they bring to the table? Is that what brings you to Panda Express so much? Panda is, definitely has a, a lot of options and has a lot of entrees that I usually don't see from a time to time basis. Um, I usually eat a lot of pasta. Pasta is mainly in my diet. Italian food, bread and stuff is usually in my diet so I tend to stay, I tend to stay away from uh, Italian food so Panda Express is a great way I can switch up my food, my food plan, and um, the entrees that they have are reasonable in price and are tasty. After you get your food at Panda Express, when you sit down, do you sit with a stranger? Would you sit with a stranger? Ackerman Union is a, a very big area with a lot of seats, so I usually tend to find a seat I can be myself, but in the incident where there is no open seats or open tables, I, will, I don't mind going and uh, sitting with other students that are sharing their experience of eating some food or having conversations with their friends. Would you feel uncomfortable if you were sitting by yourself and a stranger came up to sit with you? No, I wouldn't mind that because that's what UCLA is known for. Uh, being connected to 
different people with different backgrounds and uh, different ethnicities. So I would really encourage people to get out of their comfort zone and meet and socialize with other people because that is how you expand your network and sometimes you can expand your knowledge on different uh, topics and uh, get insight into people's lives. When you're sitting with a stranger, do you feel uncomfortable sometimes? Mm -mm. Huh? At first, at first, uh, it can be kind of uncomfortable to uh, so again, do you feel uncomfortable when a stranger comes to sit next to you? No, I'm not uncomfortable when a stranger comes to sit next to me because uh, like the question you asked before, would I feel uncomfortable sitting with a stranger if there were no more open seats? So either they're coming to socialize with me or there are no open seats, so I'm more than willing to open up my table to a stranger and uh, maybe talk to them and get some insight to how their day is going. And how, like the, the previous interviewer said, uh, you never know, that could make their day, that could um, change their outlook on student athletes or African Americans. So I think it's important to get out of your comfort zone, like I said before, and uh, socialize with different people that you wouldn't usually do converse, or socialize with um, in your own network. Would you rather sit by yourself or with the stranger? Um, I'd, I would prefer to sit by myself because I'm I'm an introvert and I like to just think about how my day is going and plan my rest of my day out and uh, strategize on what my next move is. But uh, like I said before, I wouldn't mind having a stranger sit with me and, and talk to them about how my day is going and how uh, the rest of my day is going to be planned out. And I'm sure uh, the person that came to sit next to me or sit with me won't mind either because he made a decision to sit with me, so he must, um, or they must, have some type of intentions of talking. Do you, do you ever try and prevent a stranger from sitting down? No, I wouldn't, I would never prevent somebody from uh, sitting next to me that's, that's childish, mature. But you just said, that you like to sit by yourself, sir. So there's never any days that you don't feel like talking to anyone. You're just kind of in your own zone. You just want to be alone. You never try and put the backpack up on the seat or maybe put kick your feet up on the chair or move all the chairs away from you. No, I don't have any techniques to uh, for people not to sit next to me. I, even though I did say I'd like to be by myself, I don't mind being and having company with uh, with me while I'm either eating or studying. Do you use technology when you're eating your food? Um, I am on my phone while I'm eating. So you do use technology? I use technology while I'm eating, but not for my food. So when you're eating your food, your phone never pops out? No, it does. I never use it. Never glance at it. I, I text. Uh, it's kind of too loud for me to play music. So And I, and I don't have headphones, so uh, playing music would be kind of pointless, but... Yeah, I do text and get on some type of social media to occupy myself while I'm uh, either studying or eating. What do you 
What do you mostly do on your technology device? Text, social media, while you're in Ackerman Student Union? I probably have to say I, I text more than I'm on any social media. I sometimes call my parents, see how their day is going, because uh, it's important when I do have free time. It's important to um, branch out and see how the rest of my family is doing. Sometimes get up to date on news and information that I'm not, I can't access while I'm at practice. Is there a reason why you're why you use technology other than just sit there? Uh, just to occupy some of my time, just to just to um, keep me keep me busy. If a stranger does not come sit with me, I use my phone to for a source of entertainment. But if a stranger did come up to me, I don't think I would have as much use have as much use for my social media or my phone. So would you rather be on your technology device or would you have interaction with the human? I'd rather I'd rather uh, talk with another person because I'm not gonna close myself off from the rest of the world. And that's one of the big one of the big problems in today's society is kids are substituting technology for actual human human interactions and that's one reason why uh, obesity is a problem in America because kids are substituting technology for uh, activity uh, so no I don't I would not substitute human interaction for some type of technology because I think human interaction is the Best interaction. I respect that. I respect that. How often do you come to eat here at Ackerman Student Union? I come quite a bit because because I have a peculiar class schedule and the times I get out are odd and they fit into my schedule with the meetings and my academic appointments. So I find it very easy to go to Panda Express and Savar Roche instead of going to the dining hall because most of my classes are on the hill and far from Covell or Deneuve. So I find it in my best interest to go to Ackerman Student Union and grab a quick bite to eat. Do you usually work for the same thing every day? See, uh, my life is based around uh, planned. It's planned out and uh, it's already pre-organized. So yes, I do have uh, a set, uh, what do you call it? Menu or whatever entrees that I usually get. I usually get um, the orange chicken with soy sauce. Sweet and sour, with some sweet and fire chicken, half chow mein, half fried rice. That's just at Panda Express. But when I go to Sabaros, I like to get the chicken bacon ranch pizza with the pineapple pizza. Um, like you were saying before, I uh, I like to interact with the the cashiers and talk to them and get to know how their day is going and get some insight and sometimes I get a, a discount on my food. Do you notice any patterns as far as ethnicity, age, sex, like groups within Ackerman? Well, there, I do see a um, like a clustering of ethnicities, ethnicities and genders 
in African Student Union because um, people tend to stick to the people they are most like. They people are most uh, are gonna be homophilous and um, sit in groups. So yes, I do notice clustering of groups and ethnic er, of, of ethnicities and genders in Akron Student Union. Do you ever study at Ackerman? No, I do not study in Ackerman Student Union. It is not my first choice of uh, places to study, but it, it is definitely a, a place to get your work done. It is important to maintain a focus on your own studies because there are so many people in Ackerman Student Union. Uh, it is easy to get distracted and sidetracked with other people's conversations. So I don't prefer to study in Ackerman Student Union, but uh, it's definitely an option if all my options are taken. Do you like the music videos that are played on the TV? And if you do, what do you like about them? Because there's no sound. Uh, sometimes I, I don't notice the, the music videos going on in Ackerman. But I'm sure the videos are very creative and have aspiring artists trying to get out and reach the youth. Do you think the TVs affect the students in Ackerman Student Union? I think that is just a way for people to get away from the stress of school and the burden of school. So I think the TV in Ackerman Student Union is a great way for people or students to um, get sidetracked in a good way. Okay, Paul. Thank you for your time. You've been very helpful. Thank you.